Well, would you look at that? Oh, we get a full one. That's just, it's just the best news ever. <laughs> so, yes. Hello, everybody. And welcome back to my blind Let's Play of Legend of Zelda. Ah, excuse me. A Link to the Past. Hello, who are you? Hey, kid, this is a secret hideout for a gang of thieves. Don't enter without permission. By the way, I heard that one of our ex-members is staying at the entrance to the desert. Oh, I remember this. Yes, that would be the silent man with nothing but a sign by his side. I remember, actually. Oh, no, a secret! Anyway. No! Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway. There's nothing up here, is there? Okay, good. Anyway, like I was trying to say and still continue to try a minute into the episode, and I have yet to do an introduction. That is just sad. <laughs> Plainly, to be honest. But yes! This is part 22 of my blind let's play of Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. In the last episode, we didn't get a mushroom, but can't say that anymore. Uh, in the last episode, we finished off the boss of the Tower of Hela. I believe is the name. I still don't remember. Probably should figure that out. Although it doesn't seem too important now, does it? And we are now about to frolic with woodland creatures and smash ourselves into stones. And we need the Book of Mordor for this. And we picked a mushroom as well. Not that button, that button. The hero's triumph on Cataclysm's Eve wins three symbols of virtue. The Master Sword he will then retrieve, keeping the knight's true line. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. How do I pick up? That's the button. There it is. Suddenly, Sahasrila's contacts you telepathically. Alex, it is extraordinary that you won the Master Sword that makes evil retreat. With this shining sword, I believe you can defeat the wizard's evil powers. The destiny of this land is in your hands. Please, Alex. And then epic music commences, because we are just that good. Ah, <sighs> it feels good. Alex, help! The soldiers are coming to sanctuary! Hi! Who was that? Who was that? <laughs> I don't know who that was. I just kind of put a noise to it. Probably the old man. He was probably very likely the same old man, Sahasrala. Or the, uh, the old guy. Is this still a mushroom? Yeah, it's the same. The same mushroom, I believe, right? It is the same. Yes. Alright. That'll come in, uh, importance later. In a little while. Do not worry about that. However, right now, we must go to Sanctuary, the place we came out of the castle from, if I remember correctly. The, p the place with the Elder, which we can get to by going this way, not in the water. Just check the map to be sure. Yep, right over there. Okay, what was on the map? There was, yes, there's a, there's a blinking skull. Which is just, of any symbol you could have, it's one of the most inviting, in my personal opinion. It's actually not true. What is this? Not that. What is this? Can I break it? Yes, we can! What is inside? A chest which contains a piece... Okay, uh, yeah, actually it actually was. It was a piece of heart. I was expecting to be baffled. Or confounded, or hoodwinked, or dumbfounded. Or any my rate. I know it's Maraud. The word is Maraud. But when I read it, my brain got all dyslexic on me. I'm not dyslexic, but my brain was for a minute there. And it read it as uh, my rate. So I just say my rate from now. It sounds right. It sounds more correct to me. But that's just me. Alright, so we're at the sanctuary. What has happened? <gasps> oh no. Okay. Uh, um, uh, mount. No, not no. Uh, let's just. Is he awake? Oh, he's. Alex, you are a second too late. I have failed. Zelda, the soldiers have abducted her. They have taken her to the castle. You must find her before the wizard works his magic. Please, you are our only hope. <laughs> and he was never heard of again. So sad. 
But, he gave us instructions and we now know what we must do. We must go. Not that button. We must go to the castle and defeat the evil that resides there. Oh, this is getting interesting. I've always... I think I said this before, is that pretty much most of the games that I've ever played, as far as, like, video games, uh, were all... <laughs> like, there are other kinds of games, and I know there's board games. Getting off track again, I do that way too often. I'm probably not even going the right way. Am I going the right way? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Anyway, like I was saying, uh, the games that I always played were never very story-based. They were always very, uh, that was dumb. Uh, they were like Mario games, and Mario isn't known for having a story. So, uh, despite all that, I have yet to actually play a game with any sort of interesting or impressive story. So if anybody out there knows of such a game... Magic! Uh, okay, I'll just go. Charge! Screw you! Get inside. Alright, so I know where to go because I've done this before, but this is the absolute pinnacle of what I've uh, accomplished prior to this recording session. I'll just head up here. Excuse me. Head over here, I believe? Nope, not this way. I want to go down. I'm going to just rush this guy, and yep, here it is. The, uh, the way up onto the balconies, or the, uh, the upper parts. I actually don't need to go that way. I can just go this way, because this is where we are to go. And the Master Sword defeats the Evil Seal, and makes our way into <sighs> this gauntlet. Let's go. Alright, so these guys are a little bit difficult. I can actually try and uh, talk as if I know what I'm talking about now. That'll be interesting to see how that goes. Okay. Yep, I'm gonna die. Alright, so these guys have giant maces, as you can clearly see. Oh! Yep, I, I died. Yeah, that's that's good. That's bound to happen. Really, it's it's inevitable. Save and continue. Let's save and continue. As the game so righteously suggested. Do I have? Yes, I have arrows. But no aim. Perfect. What more could they want of the hero of legend? Let's just be cheap. I don't feel like dealing with you really right now. At all. How many arrows do you take? Four. That's actually not bad. Don't don't know why I went for the one ruby, not the five. These guys aren't too bad. You just gotta get on their good side, which I'm not doing well. Yeah, two hits, not too bad. Ah. We get a key. Uh, you'll want to be very careful with hearts. This area. You, you bat. And why does nobody here have anything for me? Is it already open? Yeah, it's already open. Alright. <laughs> well, let's get going then. Okay, there you are. Yep, you are a thing that happened right there. Cannot reach you. That is a shame. However, now I can reach you. And you are a dead thing to me. So... Yes, you want to be careful in this maze, because if you die, you do the entire maze over. And trust me, it's a bit of a difficult... not difficult, I won't say difficult, I will say complex. There are many layers to this maze, and as I say that I am slowly but surely dying. So it's ironic and just terrible, and just I'm bad at this game. I've, I've, I've accepted that, that I'm terrible at this game. I know it. At least I think so. With what little I know, what all did that do? That did not do much. And if it did anything, I didn't notice. But, anyway, with that being said, uh, I'm going to end the episode off here. So, thank you all very much for watching. In the next episode, we'll be continuing to climb this tower. And I will see you guys next time. What is in here? Ooh, there's a chest over there. I'm going to be getting to that. 